Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. Thanks for watching. This broadcast also brought to you by Vision Realty. We are polished, experienced, and professional, offering excellence every step of the way. We are the vision you can trust. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch, buffet, carry out, or delivery. And brought to you by Ploim Publishing, quality printing from design to delivery. Ploim Publishing. Hello fans of Defender Sports, hope you're enjoying the game, whether you're a friend or family member of a player or a coach, or a fan of the university. These players and coaches have put in hours and hours of practice, and it shows. But going into each and every game, there's one more thing that every coach makes sure the team has, and that's a game plan. If these players and coaches are willing to put this much time into planning for a game, how much more important is putting together a game plan for your financial life? Now the financial world continually becomes more complicated, but if you don't have either the time or the desire to spend hours upon hours learning and keeping up with the changing rules of the game in the financial world, and then figuring out how that applies specifically to your financial life, you don't have to do it alone. For over 40 years, we've been helping households to build their financial game plan upon all the things more important than finances, while being good stewards of the resources God has entrusted to their care. Because there's things in life more important than money, and none of them are things. I'm Tom DeYoung, financial planner and president of Money Concepts, the planning firm. Check us out on the web or social media. Check out our podcast at moneyconceptsradio.com or your favorite podcast app. Or schedule a complimentary meeting to see how a financial game plan might benefit you. Enjoy the rest of the game and remember to spend your most valuable resources, your time and your attention, on the things in life that matter more than money. Play golf and support Defender Athletics by joining the Defender Nation Golf League this summer. The Defender Nation Golf League is an eight-week remote league that you can play in from anywhere in the country. Compete from your home course against other alumni and Dort supporters for a $3,000 vacation package and other weekly prizes. Registration is due by May 27th and league play begins the week of June 3rd through the 9th. Scan the QR code or go to godort.com for more information and to register. Hello everybody, I'm Jonah Hoffmeyer and I'm a senior. I'm from Paulina, Iowa. Hey, I'm Clay Boss. I'm a senior studying mathematics from Holland, Michigan. I would say what I have learned the most through the Dort Media Network is that we'll do it live. You have to be quick on your feet and if you make a mistake, you gotta move on. I think what I'll miss most is the wonderful culture that all the crew puts together. There's a bunch of great people in there that really make coming into work enjoyable. Thanks for watching the Dort Media Network.
Hi there, I'm Quentin Olson. I'm a senior, I'm a digital media production major, and I'm from Holman, Wisconsin. Hey, I'm Clay Boss. I'm a senior studying mathematics from Holland, Michigan. The main thing I learned working for the Dart Media Network was working in a professional manner with friends and, and coworkers and learning to do a, a job well done. I think what I'll miss most is the wonderful culture that all the crew puts together. There's a bunch of great people in there that really make coming into work enjoyable. Thanks for watching the Dort Media Network. One thing I always say is who's surrounding your kids. We feel strongly in investing in a Christian education. Knowing that they will be surrounded by in a Christian community was huge to us. Dort challenges, they're not gonna back away from having those difficult discussions about how we as Christians should be part of the world, but we know that the people that are alongside of our kids have that same perspective, same worldview that we have, that every square inch of, of our lives belongs to the Lord. Welcome into the ASB Sports Complex. We got a bit of a rivalry game here. G Pack action. Dort defenders taking on the Northwestern Red Raiders. Northwestern coming into today's game with a 36 and 2 overall record. They're 12 and 0 in conference. That's good for first place. They're ranked number 11 in the most recent coaches poll. They'll be batting first as the Dort defenders have a 21 and 18 overall record and an 8 and 4 record in conference play. Number 25, Gwen Mickelson is going to lead off. Chloe Croy is in the circle for the defenders. First pitch. Is a strike. Thanks for joining us here on the Dort Media Network. My name is Josh Tatton. Bring this one to you. Gwen Mickelson leading off in the number two hole, number twenty. Catherine Etherington. She is the designated player, number three, or excuse me, number two. Tatum Schmalbeck. Second baseman. That pitch misses for a ball. Number twelve. Chloe Gallegos is the catcher, and in the five slot, number ten. Jory Hayek is the shortstop. Number fifteen. Maddie Kavatek is after that one. She plays right field as that pitch is hit off the dome for a foul ball. Number six. Randy Childress is the first baseman, and number one, Charlie Baumgart is the center fielder, and the ninth slot, number 13, Ashton Billings, the left fielder, and in the circle, not hitting, is number 33, Katie Kralik. Chloe Croyes delivers. That's a ball. Defensive lineup for the defenders. Carly Olson behind the plate, Lauren Steenstra at first. Alyssa Villa at second base, Bryn Toringa at third, Emma Groon at short. This ball hit to Villa at second, throw over in time for the first out. Villa, or excuse me, Groon at short, Rule in left, Tyson in center, and Cox in right. Chloe Croys in the circle for the defenders. One down here for Croys after the ground out from Mickelson. And that'll bring up number 20, Catherine Etherington. First pitch, ball. Ball two taken by Etherington. This game originally uh, scheduled to be outside, but a lot of thunderstorms, or a big thunderstorm coming through the area right now. So luckily have the dome, ball popped up, grown under it, she'll make the catch. Two down for the defenders. Tatum Schmalbeck will step in, the second baseman. That pitch is in there from Kreuz. Schmalbeck hitting 391 on the season. A 467 slugging percentage. Ball hit on the ground, Groon under it. She'll field it, throw over in time. One, two, three, inning for Kreuz. And we're still scoreless, right into the bottom of the first. We'll take a quick break here on the Dort Media Network.
I chose Dort because it has a Christian perspective. I also chose Dort because I knew that it was a program that I could do on my own time. If someone was interested in doing the MPA program, I would say that it's worth your time to investigate. I'm active in my church, I'm very busy at work, I'm busy with my family, and in doing all that, I was able to do it. And I think that if I can, you can too. This Dort Media Network broadcast is brought to you by Sioux Concrete Construction, Rob Sue and owner, excelling in flat work, poured walls, decorative concrete projects, dedicated to providing customers with a good experience and quality workmanship. SiouxConcrete.com. And brought to you by Huber's Plumbing and Heating. Whether you're looking for repairs, replacement, or maintenance, between these two rivals. Solid second inning, or I guess one, two, three inning to start the game. That was Gwen Etherington, or excuse me, Gwen Mickelson, Catherine Etherington. That ball's hit well in the center field. That one might be down. Down to the fence, rounding first, heading to second. Lead off double for Chloe Croyz. So I was mentioning how well she pitched, she hits a double. So first base hit for the defenders. Or first hit, rather, for the defenders. Extra base hit for Chloe Croy's second, or er, a double to bring up number 13, Lauren Steenstra, the first baseman. Uh, Croy's retired Mickelson, Etherington, and Schmalbeck in order to start the game. Then got two quick outs in the second. Chloe Gallegos and Hayek, both with fly outs. And then walked Kavatek, but Childress popped out to short. And then she hit a double of her own. Swing and a miss from Steenstra. Steenstra looking to drive in that run. Over at second. One and two to Steenstra. She leads the team in RBI. She's got 38 on the season. She's hitting 319. She's also second on the team in average but she slugs 450, or excuse me, 540. Two balls, two strikes to Steenstra. Leads the team in extra base hits with 10 doubles. And Steenstra swings through that one, gets a piece of it, but into the glove for the first strikeout for Kralik. One down in the inning for Villa. The freshman out of Merced, California will step in. She'll take strike one. Kate Kralik has uh, an incredible ERA under one. So .96 ERA and a 13-1 record. Only one pitcher so far on this Raiders staff has above a one ERA. Kralik with 80 in the third innings pitched. She's got a one and two count here to Villa. Villa puts that one onto the ground over to Schmalbeck. Schmalbeck makes the throw over to first for the out. Croys to third. And two down now for Kralik. Toringa will step in now, number 55. She's the third baseman. Toringa takes strike one. Toringa swings through strike two. Ball one taken.
Foul ball. And another foul ball by Toring. And that one's foul off the dome. It hit the dome in foul territory. We'll reset. We'll do it again. It's a one and two count to Toringa. And Toringa takes strike three at the knees. And after a leadoff double, nothing after that. Solid outing or solid recovery from Kralik. And we're still scoreless. We're heading to the top of the third. We'll be right back after this. American State Bank is celebrating our 50th anniversary, and we couldn't have made it this far without your support. For us, banking just scratches the surface. We pride ourselves in our commitment to our communities, building meaningful relationships with our customers, and doing our best to have some fun along the way. We're proud to be a locally owned and operated bank, supporting the communities we serve. Thank you for choosing American State Bank. We can't wait to see what the next 50 years have in store. Thanks to these Dort Media Network sponsors, Skeep Out Window and Door, your local window experts. Whether building or replacing, we have the products, people, and knowledge to get the job done right. See Skeep Out and see the difference. Skeep Out Window and Door. Thanks to MH True Value. Behind every project is a true value. Start right, start here. MH True Value. Charlie Baumgar is going to lead off for the Red Raiders. The center fielder takes ball one. Ball two, ball two taken by Baumgar. She's a senior out of Boyden, Iowa. She's the center fielder today. She'll take ball three. Baumgars hits 280. She's got 21 hits on the season. She'll take ball four. So Baumgars works a leadoff walk to bring up Ashton Billings, the left fielder. Shows bunt, gets it down. Croys makes the throw to first in time. She was close to being out of the box on that one. Well, she gets the bunt down and Baumgars advance to second. Gwen Mickelson, top of the lineup, has a runner in scoring position. She'll take ball one. She grounded out last time up. Swings it out one. Groon gets a, behind it. Throw over to Steenstra in time, gets the out, but runner does advance to third on the throw over to first, so Baumgars is there. Mickelson is retired. Strong throw from Emma Grun. But Baumgart shows off some of the speed. Two down now for Etherington. Pitch is wide. Etherington with 39 RBIs. He's got a 2 0 count. Oh. 
3 and 0 to Etherington. And there's a strike taken. Nice pitch by Croyce. Croyce comes home, but misses with ball four. And Etherington will base on balls. Runners cornered now here for Tatum Schmalbeck. The second baseman 0 for 1 on the day with a ground out. We're going to get a quick timeout called by Coach Zomer. He's going to go talk things over. This Northwestern team led at the helm by Shane Bauman. He's the head coach. He took over in August of uh, 2018, and he is... He's been excellent since then. Over 400 wins in a Northwestern uh, uniform. And while this, this Dort team led by Coach Jeff Zomer, he's close to reaching 300 wins all time and is also the longest, coaching, or longest uh, tenured coach here at Dort. He's been here for a while. Took over the program in uh, 2010. And I think he's just about six wins away from reaching his 300th win, which is the winningest coach in Dort softball history. Six 20 plus win seasons, reached the GPAC postseason uh, 10 times. The runner goes, they're gonna cut it off? No, she's safe at second. And the runner comes home. A strong throw, not going to get her. And just a lack of concentration there allows Baumgars to come home and score the first run. So Etherington is there with a the stolen base. Swing and a miss from Schmalbeck. 0-2 to Schmalbeck. That pitch misses for ball one, so one and two to Schmalbeck. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch hit up the middle into center field. Etherington rounds third. She's going to come home. She's going to score. Cut off by Croy's. The throw to second. Not going to get her. So Etherington scores on the base hit hit by Schmalbeck. So two runs come across the score. Raiders lead 2-0. Chloe Gallego steps in. She popped out last time up. She's got a runner on second with two down. Pitch hit high in the air into right field. Brooklyn Cox giving chase back to the fence. Make diving catch off the glove. Tries to make the diving catch, I should say. The run comes in to score. Gallegos with a double. I'll bring up Jory Hayek. Hayek steps in now, 0 for 1. She's got a runner on second. Three, three, 
one and oh. Hitting the left field, one hops over to Rule. Rule throws it home. And back-to-back -back doubles brings in another run. And when it rains, it pours right now. Four runs coming across the score. As Hayek is in at second. Throw is online, it's not strong enough. Matty Kvatek steps in now, the right fielder. 4-0 ball game. And that ball taken. 2-0 no is the count. Runner goes to third. The throw is a good one. And they got her. Hayek caught stealing. And the defenders give up four. No chance to answer right back here in the bottom of the third. We'll take it right back. Or we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. We understand how complex the financial landscape can be to navigate. Our goal is to free up your hands so that you can focus on what is most important in life. Welcome back here to the ASB Sports Complex. Emma Groon leading off after four runs come across the score for the Raiders. Defenders have some work to do in the bottom of the third inning. First at bat for Groon. Pitch is high. One on one count. One ball, one strike. Scroon swings through that one for strike two. Ball two taken by Groon. Strike three as Groon swings through that one. First out of the inning comes from a Groon strikeout. Brooklyn Cox will step in now. She wears number five and plays right field. On deck is Rule. Rule swings through strike one. Or excuse me, Cox swings through strike one. Cox shows bunt, pops it up, lets it fall, is Mickelson, but she makes the strong throw. And Cox is thrown out. Brooke Rule steps in now. She tried to bunt for a base hit last time, and it was a close play, but Mickelson made a nice play. Pitch is high for ball one. Pitch is popped up off the dome, and that one's going to be caught by Schmalbeck. Retired in order are the defenders. 
Still down by four. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on the Dort Media Network. At Premier Communications, we're all about connection. Connecting you to all the entertainment, work, and family you love with our phone, internet, cable TV, and tech support services. And now, that connection has gotten even faster with internet speeds up to one gig. Experience the next level of connection with Premier Communications. Visit us online at mypremieronline.com or call toll-free 800-741-8351. Premier Communications, looking ahead. Today's broadcast brought to you by Beaver Eye Care, serving Sioux Center and the surrounding communities for over 30 years. Come see Dr. Paul Beaver, Dr. Dan Clausing, or Dr. Reese Beaver for all comprehensive eye care needs. This Northwestern leads in this one, four to nothing. Leading off is number 15, Maddie Kvatek. First pitch is a strike. Kvatek based on balls last time. No official at bat yet for Kvatek. One and one. Four runs came across to score in the third. That pitch hit right to Toringa, and I don't know if Toringa found that ball or that ball found Toringa. Either way, a first out. To bring up number six, Randy Childress. She popped out last time up. She'll step in after a highlight play made by Toringa at third. First pitch is a strike. Pitch lined up the middle for a one-out single. Tyson there to cut it off. So one out after that single hit by Childress up the middle for Charlie Baumgars. Shows bunt, runner goes. Throw to Groon. It's not going to be in time. So Childress with the stolen base. Oh and one is the count. Baumgars, so she shows bunt, she gets it down up the first baseline. Croys fields it, throws over to first, sliding attempt, not gonna get there. Childress, or excuse me, Baumgars with a su successful sacrifice bunt. Gets Childress over to third. Two down for Billings. Billings. Puts it onto the ground. Toringa fields it over to first. She's safe. So Childress scores as Billings reaches on infield single. She's quick. So we'll see if they uh, put her in motion here. Mickelson at the plate. Five nothing ball game. Runner goes. Pitches swung at and missed. No throw of her Olsen is unable to hold on to it. Nothing and one to Mickelson. Pitch is fouled off. Pitch hit on the ground via over to first in time. One run comes across the score. Defenders trail 5-0. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.
broadcast also brought to you by Vision Realty. We are polished, experienced, and professional, offering excellence every step of the way. We are the vision you can trust. Welcome to Sioux Center, Iowa, life in the center of everything. Where we connect with friends, coworkers, family, and the great outdoors, knowing that in Sioux Center, you're never far from making the next great memory. And we grow great companies that make cutting edge breakthroughs to make life better here and around the world. And when it's time to play, we keep friendship, family, and a bright future at the center of everything. Carly Olson, the leadoff for the defenders. She grounded out last time up. Steps in with a 5-0 deficit on the scoreboard. Swings it out and puts it into right field. Kavatek giving chase. That one's all the way back to the fence. Rounding first, heading to second is Olson. Olson stops at second. Leadoff double for Carly Olson. And maybe the spark that the defenders needed here. After five runs in the last two innings, come across the score for the Raiders. Colt Carly Olsen gets the first, uh, second hit, excuse me, of the game for the defenders. First one since Croy's doubled in the second. Aurora Tyson will step in now. Tyson takes strike one. Tyson takes ball one. Tyson takes ball two high. What's next on the schedule for the defenders? Morningside on Friday, College of St. Mary on Saturday, and then next Thursday. And Saturday, they'll finish out the season on the road. Strike two taken by Tyson. They'll finish out the season on April 20th, or excuse me, April 25th, they'll play Mount Marty in Yankton. That's a Thursday. And then they'll finish out the regular season at Concordia in Seward on April 27th. That's a Saturday. Tyson puts that one in, in the center field. Baumgars makes the catch. Olsen not tagging. The throw gets away. Olsen stays at second. Tyson with a fly out for the first out of the inning. Croys will step in now. She doubled last time up. One for one on the day. As for the Raiders, they will finish out the season. Give me a sec, let me, it's taking a minute to load, you know. First pitch to Croys misses. They'll finish out the season against College of St. Mary on Friday. That's their senior day in Orange City. And then they'll uh, take on Morningside. That should be a good matchup. Briar Cliff, that'll be next Thursday. And then they'll finish out the regular season against number 13, Midland. So that might be one to circle on your calendars. Might be, that'll be a good one. Two of the top teams in the country and two of the top teams in the GPAC. Croy's with a 2-0 count. Swings it out and puts it off the dome. And it's going to be caught by Hayek. Two down. Lauren Steenster will step in now. Steenstra fouls that one back. Steenstra, she steps back in, nothing in one. Pitch is high. Yeah. 
Steenstra swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes for Steenstra. Kralik pitching well. Only two hits so far. Steenstra fouls that one off. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes still to Steenstra. Ball two taken. Quick conference over there between Kralik and Gallegos. Two balls, two strikes to Steenstra. Swings at that one, puts a good charge into it, but it's going to be a foul ball off the dome. Yep, foul ball. She turned on that one just a little early. Two and two to Steenstra. Alyssa Villa on deck. Another foul ball from Steenstra. She's working out there. This be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And full count now for Steenstra. Off speed gets Steenstra looking. She can't believe it. Lead off double. Left stranded at second base. Defenders still trail 4-0. We're heading to the fifth. We'll be right back after this. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. And brought to you by Pizza Ranch. Buffet, carry out, or delivery. Joiner and Zvort Dentistry, providing the latest in dental technology in a warm, comfortable, and relaxing environment. And brought to you by Ploim Publishing, quality printing from design to delivery. Ploim Publishing. Etherington leading off for the Raiders. 5-0 ball game here in the top of the fifth inning. First pitch is a strike to Etherington. Croy still dealing. Pitch hit high in the air. That's going to go off the dome. And a diving attempt by Tyson. It's going to fall. Just a foul ball. Looks like it went off her face off the bounce. She's okay. Not a lot happening in the G-Pack today. Obviously this game, or these two games, that's a doubleheader. And then Saw, uh, Morningside and Dakota State were supposed to play softball today, but it looks like that was canceled. Seems a little bit late for a non-conference game anyway. Um, tennis is gonna be down at Concordia. Baseball for Morningside's taking on Bellevue and Northwestern and Waldorf. Northwestern taking on Waldorf, or was supposed to. That one was also canceled. So, not a lot happening. Full count here to Etherington. If 
Foul ball by Etherington. Ball hit in the left field. Brooke Rule's gonna have to let that one go over her head. At the fence, in the second is Etherington. And a double hit by Etherington to start this inning. And we're gonna get a pinch runner over at second. See who that is in just a second. That was number eight, Alyssa Vortherms, the freshman out of Orange City. She'll run. Schmalbeck steps in. Runner thought about going. And just taking an aggressive secondary lead. On a bunt attempt, Schmalbeck pulls it back for a ball. 1-0. Ball two taken. Schmalbeck one for two with a ground out and a single. And a, bit, and a run scored. The pitch is high. 3 0 to Schmalbeck. Ball four taken. And we're going to get a pitching change here for the defenders. So as they take a break, so are we. We'll be right back here on the Dort Media Network. Today's broadcast brought to you by The Grain House in Hall. They have amazing coffee, energy drinks, breakfast, lunch, and more. With a big city feel located only 10 minutes away in Sioux Center, they have a second location opening next year in Sanborn. Today's broadcast brought to you by Snyder Insurance and Financial Group of Sioux Center, offering life, health, Medicare supplements, annuities, and more. Trusted service and exceptional products with you in mind since 1973. Jaden Faber into pitch for the defenders. She comes in with the team best 199 ERA and a 6-1 record. She's got 38 and two-thirds innings pitch. Shows bunt. Pulls it back for a ball. Running is, or at first, Number five, Cassidy Gores, the sophomore from T, South Dakota. Shows bunt again. That's a foul ball. So this is Gallegos at bat, the catcher. 0 for 2, or excuse me, 1 for 2 with a pop out, a double, and a run scored. Shows bunt once again, pops it up. Faber's going to have to make a quick throw. And in time... For the first out, both runners advance to the second and third. Sky Gallegos lays down the bunt. Uh, 
That pitch misses for ball one. This is number 10, Jory Hayek. Hayek fouled out and singled. That pitch fouled straight back off the screen. Faber gets the call. One ball, two strikes. And strike three for Faber, her first of the day, as Hayek swings through that one. Two down now for the defenders as Kavatek comes in. Kvatek with a walk and a line out. Ball hit right to Toringa, last inning. She'll foul that one off the dome. Nothing in one. Pitch is fouled off, in on the hands. Pitch misses for ball one on the outside. One ball, two strikes. Randy Childress on deck. Pitch misses for a ball. Evened up, two balls, two strikes now. That pitch freezes her for strike three, and Faber comes in and gets her first three. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. We got a five nothing ball game. We'll be right back after this. Thanks to Prairie Life Chiropractic, combining skill and expertise that spans the entire chiropractic, acupuncture, and physical health spectrum. They want you to move better and live better. And today's live stream broadcast brought to you by Verhoof Automotive. Verhoof Automotive in Sioux Center is your local Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, and Buick dealer. Verhoof Automotive, worth the drive from anywhere. Today's broadcast brought to you by German Farmers Mutual, protecting the farm and home since 1981. Northwest Iowa's local insurance partner online at GermanFarmers.com. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Northside Body Shop. When you expect the very best in the repair of your vehicle, call Northside Body Shop Limited today. Serving the Sioux Center area since 1955. 712-722-2313. We're through five here, or at five here, bottom of the fifth inning. Alyssa Villa leading off. First pitch is a strike here in Sioux Center. Kralik still dealing for the Raiders. They have a five nothing lead. Villa's gonna swing it down and put it right up the middle. That's gonna be a lead off single for the defenders. Villa puts it right back where it came from. Third hit of the game for the defenders is number 55. Bryn Toringa will step in. She struck out last time up. She's got a runner out first and no outs. It's like Haley Wilkin getting loose over there in the defender bullpen. Toringa is going to put that one into center field. Over the shoulder grab by Baumgars. Nice play in center field. Bryn Toringa flies out. It was working for like half an inch. It worked for half an inch. 
And Emmer Gruen will step in. The shortstop is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. She's got one out and a runner on. Foul ball by Gruen. Ball one taken. And Groen will take that one for a ball. A little bit later this week, men's volleyball up in Jamestown for the semifinals of the GPAC tournament. They're taking on Morningside. Strike two taken by Groen. And then the track and field teams will be over in Orange City for the Red Raider Open, weather permitting. And then baseball is down in Hastings on Friday. And they are taking on Morningside on Saturday. Foul ball from Grun. Full count. Kralik with the payoff pitch. Ball four. So Villa advances the second. Groon base on balls. Brooklyn Cox will step in now with no with one out, excuse me. Foul ball by Cox. Cox 0 for 1, the ground out. Uh, pitch taken for a ball. One ball, one strike here to Brooklyn Cox. Cox going to put that one into left field. And that one's going to be down. They have a play at third still. And they're going to get her. So they still get an out. As Villa is thrown out at third. She's kind of left hanging. Had to wait, see if he was caught. And Brooklyn Cox is at first. Bruins at second. Two down after Via thrown out. Brooke Rule's going to put that one high in the air and caught by Childress for the third out. Defenders threaten, but no runs come across the score. Run out of time here. We're heading to the six. We'll be right back here on the Dort Media Network. Special thanks to all our Dort Media Network sponsors, Bolink Enterprises Incorporated, building homes for families and businesses in Northwest Iowa since 1962. Let's work together to bring your vision into reality. Bolink Enterprises Incorporated. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the Van Englenhoven Agency, your trusted independent insurance agency throughout Northwest Iowa. Contact the Van Englenhoven Agency Sioux Center Advisors, Mark Holsoff or Lisa Dykstra.
Randy Childress leading off for the or for the Raiders. She'll take that one for a strike. Childress one for two. Pop out a single, a stolen base, and a run scored. Pitches inside for a ball. The Raiders crossed four runs in the third and one in the fourth to get to five runs. And outside of that, it was really that third inning that proved to be uh, the big, the big killer for the defenders. After Etherington, Smallback, or Schmallback, Gallegos, and Baumgars all came across the score. They just saw the ball well. Knocked in a few, and the defenders struggled to catch up. Faber came in relief appearance last inning. She's pitched well since then. She retired her first three batters she faced. That was Gallegos, Hayek, and Kvatek. She's got a 3-2 count to Childress. Childress puts it on the ground. Groon over to first in time for the first out. So one down for the Raiders, and Charlie Baumgar steps in. She's quick. See if they try to lay down a bunt. Takes that one for a ball. That pitch taken for a strike. One and one. She hasn't squared around at all. Doesn't mean she won't. Swings through that one for a strike. Foul ball. One and two. Baumgars will step back in. And that's going to be a foul ball. Or is she out? She was out of the box, so she is out. So Baumgars is retired. First pitch is a strike to Billings. Pitch misses for a ball. Billings, the left fielder. She has a sacrifice, bunt, and a single with a stolen base. Late on that one for a strike. Two and two. And ball three taken. Full count for Billings. Jaden Faber will step back onto the rubber. And the payoff pitch coming from Faber. Ball hit on the ground but chopped foul. On deck, Gwen Mickelson. Pitch hit right to Toringa. Toringa throws it over in time. One, two, three inning for Faber. And the uh, bottom of the six, we'll take a quick break. You're watching Dort Softball on the Dort Media Network. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonah Hoffmeyer, and I'm a senior. I'm from Paulina, Iowa. 
Hi there, I'm Quentin Olson. I'm a senior, I'm a digital media production major, and I'm from Holman, Wisconsin. I would say what I have learned the most through the Dort Media Network is that we'll do it live. You have to be quick on your feet, and if you make a mistake, you gotta move on. After graduation in May, I'd like to do something in sports media, and I've been applying to as many positions as I can. This live stream broadcast brought to you by Napa Auto Parts in Sioux Center. Your source for quality automotive parts for your car or truck. Let them use their knowledge to help you find the right vehicle battery, brakes, filters, headlights, wipers, and other parts needed to get your job done. Napa Auto Parts in Sioux Center. Excuse us as we uh, deal with some substitution things here on the northwestern side of the ball. As Carly Olsen grounds out, that'll bring up number 44, Aurora Tyson. Tyson will take strike one. Tyson will take ball one. Tyson looks at strike two. One and two. Ball golfed in the left field. That's going to go off the glove, and she is safe. So base hit for Tyson. Goes off the glove of Billings in the left. So Tyson with a single to bring up Chloe Croyce. Croy's gonna put that one up the middle, into the gap. Tyson rounds second. She's gonna round third and head home. No, she'll stop at third. So Croyce with a single. So Croyce gets a single, Tyson to third. It's 
Steenstra, or no, this is not Steenstra. Casey Karzak comes in. Casey Karzak. Pitches a ball. Strike called by on Karzak. One and one. Karzak swings through that one for a strike. And Karsak down on strikes. To bring up number 28, Alyssa Villa. Ball taken by Villa. Another ball taken by Villa. That pitch is a ball, 3-0. Two down for the defenders. You have to, I apologize for the delay as there's a run that comes in to score. Aurora Tyson driven in. And the defenders trying to work their way back into this one. Had to deal with some substitution stuff. Got a little confusing on our end. So we apologize for that as Aurora Tyson is driven in on the Alyssa Villa RBI single. We got runners on first and second now for Bryn Toringa. Toringa swings through that one. Toringa is going to pop that one up into center field. Baumgar is under it. She'll make the catch. And the defenders scratch one across. But nothing more. They still trail 5-1. We're heading to the seventh. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Rental. Get ready to power up your projects with equipment rentals from Rental. From heavy-duty machinery to the latest power tools, they've got the gear to make your projects a success. Visit them online at rental.com or call 712-722-3928. 
Today's broadcast is brought to you by New Tech. At New Tech, they don't just sell equipment, they deliver performance, reliability, and innovation. Their team of experts is there to guide you every step of the way, ensuring you find the perfect equipment for your needs. Today's Dort Media Network live stream broadcast is produced by the students of Dort University. Thanks for watching. This Dort Media Network broadcast is brought to you by Sioux Concrete Construction, Rob Sue and owner, excelling in flat work, poured walls, decorative concrete projects, dedicated to providing customers with a good experience and quality workmanship. SiouxConcrete.com. Jaden Faber still dealing here for the defenders. Mickelson leading off. She'll hit that one on the ground. Groon fields it over to first. Gets her in time. One down for the Raiders. Etherington will step in now. Pitches in there for a strike. Etherington doubled last time up. She's one for two. Gonna pop out a walk, a stolen base, a run scored, and a double. That one hits the ground for a ball. Foul ball off the light. One and two. And that pitch is inside for ball two. Pitch chopped over to third base. They're going to call it foul ball. Diving stop, diving attempt by Groon. Gets past the glove. And a single for Etherington. Schmallbeck will step in now. Lays the bunt down. Toringa over to first in time. Two down as Etherington gets to second on the sack bunt hit by Schmallbeck. Gallegos takes strike one. She is one for two. She's going to pop out a double run scored and a sacrifice. Swing and a miss from Gallegos. Nothing in two.
And they're going to peel. And she did not go. A good pitch. Almost got her to bite. Held it back. One ball, two strikes to Gallegos. Now ball off the glove of Steenstra, rounding third, heading home. She'll score. Etherington comes in from second on a hard hit ball off the glove of Steenstra. Hayek will step in now. Yep, Hayek will step in. Are we going to get a pinch runner? We will. That is number three, Jewel Bergstrom, sophomore out of Boyden, Iowa. She'll run for Gallegos. Hayek steps in. It's one for three. She's got a foul out, a single, and a strikeout. Raiders increase their lead six to one. First pitch is in there for a strike. Runner goes, the throw down. It's a good one, and they didn't get her. Another close play at second. As Bergstrom steals the base. Pitch is in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes to Hayek. And that pitch is fouled. Header in the box. Still one and two. And pitch taken for a ball. Two balls, two strikes to Hayek. It just fouled off. Two and two, Faber. Gets the foul ball. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Two two pitch. Hit over to Groon and Groon makes the catch for the third out. And the Raiders add one more. They lead 6-1. Last chance here for the defenders. We're heading to the bottom of the seventh here on the Dort Media Network. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Today's broadcast is brought to you by New Tech. They're your partner for success when purchasing equipment for construction, manufacturing, ag, and other industries. Don't miss the opportunity to transform your business and redefine your productivity standards with New Tech. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Rental. Looking for top-notch rental equipment? Look no further than Rental in Sioux Center, Spencer, Storm Lake, and Sioux Falls. Rental, your regional equipment rental experts. Visit them online, rental.com, or call 712-722-3928. We had two kids go into Dort. The reason they chose Dort was because of the financial aid, the financial aid office. They were willing to work with us through grants, through loans, whatever it took to get our kids to Dort University. In an affordable way, In an you know, and I way. think that that's, and I think that's the other thing too, they work with families. They yes. want it to be something per family, what's gonna be best for your family.
Back here on the Dort Media Network. Six to one ball game. Northwestern leading Dort. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning. Last chance for the defenders. Due up number 24, Emma Grone. Number five, Brooklyn Cox. And the top of the lineup, number 30, Brooke Rule. If any of them reach number 11, Carly Olson. And we'll see what's going on over here. They're talking about some subs, maybe. So far this game, Northwestern six runs on eight hits, no errors. Defenders one run on six hits, no errors. Been a fairly clean ball game. Northwestern a solid team. We knew this coming in. Number 11 team in the country in the most recent coaches poll. Undefeated in conference play. have only lost two games all season. And doesn't look like any, uh, any changes being made. So not sure what that conference was about over there. Emma Grun will step in. The grad student out of Des Moines. She'll take that one for a ball. This point, just get on base any way you can. Down five. That one's going to be fouled off. That was off the helmet of uh, our catcher. That is Kavatek. And they're going to get checker for a concussion, I think, because she got she got hit in the head. She's saying she's all right. But I've never met an athlete that say, no, please take me out of the game, so... Trainer Lindsay over there. And it looks like she's going to be all right. She's going to stay in the game. You got a one and one count. And McGruin leading off. The off speed in there for a strike. One and two. Everyone takes that one for a ball. Two and two now. Groon had to wait on that one, fights it off. Two-two pitch. Strikes Emma Groon out. And the first out of the inning. Cox will step in now. First pitch is a strike. Pitches slashed foul out of play. Nothing in two to Brooklyn Cox. Looks like we got a pinch hitter on deck for the defenders. That ball taken. One ball, two strikes to Cox. Cox swings through that one for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Etherington. And we do have a pinch hitter. That's going to be Grissom. Ashton Grissom will step in. 
in place of number 30, Brooke Rule. First pitch to Grissom, he's in there for a strike. That pitch is a ball. Grissom checks her swing on that one for ball two. Two and one. And ball three taken. Grissom, three balls, one strike. Ball four issued to Grissom. And that'll bring up Carly Olsen. See, do we get. And they're going to re enter Rule to run for Grissom. So Brooke Rule will come in to run. Ball hit on the ground, Mickelson fields it, throws over, drops it. And runner ends up at third. So Brooke Rule. That ball hit on the ground. Schmalbeck fields it, flips it over in time. And the defenders drop game one of this doubleheader against Northwestern. Quick line score here for you. Northwestern six runs on eight hits, one error. The defenders one run on six hits, no errors. Dort's record will, oh, give me a second, let me get there real quick. Dort's record will fall to 21 and 19 and 8 and 5 in conference play, while Northwestern's record improves to 37 and 2 overall and a perfect 13 and 0 in conference play. Game two will uh, take place here momentarily, probably around 2 o'clock. So stay tuned for that on the Dort Media Network. We'll be right back for that one. 